Investigators say they are still notifying families of the four Asian females killed in the Atlanta spas. And because of that, we still don't know their names, but we are getting some more details about the shooting. CBS 46's Sierra Cummings has the latest. An Atlanta police report says one victim was shot in the face, the others in the head. And although investigators could not confirm the suspect specifically targeted these four women, they say he specifically targeted these businesses, which he frequented often. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now. While there's still no names released on the Atlanta victims, the pain is personal. No one really stands up for us. For those like Katana Lover. I'm sad for those families. Feelings shared among the dozens outside the spas. The protesters demanding police call the eight killings a hate crime. We understand that the inextricable link between white supremacy, patriarchy, racism and war and the war drive is the root cause of this violent atrocity. From the work on the ground to the planning in the office. How um, this is being perceived is definitely weighing heavy on us. Asian community leaders say they're preparing ahead of President Biden's visit. The Center for Pan-Asian Community Services tells us their group will be asking for more federal support. A number of small businesses that are also in fear right now, uh, especially, you know, Asian owned or Asian serving businesses that are worried, right? Is this something that's going to happen again, happening to them, happen to their family? The fear of being targeted only exacerbated after coronavirus. Detectives say they'll go wherever this investigation takes them. Shut it down. But activists here argue race and gender must be a lens in which the case is examined. Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News.